Hi YouTube, I just bought a uh, Magic Chef and it's a pressure cooker and it's got uh, nine functions in one and it's a multi cooker and basically it can do several tasks uh, such as uh, of course pressure cooking, it can do slow cooking and you can do some sauteing, you can keep uh, items warm and you can do a delayed start on this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cooking a chicken stew and what I have not seen uh, posted yet is uh, how to uh, get this thing started and what I did originally was I they recommend do a, heating up two cups of water just to make sure that you know how all this function works so I put in two cups of water and I uh, put the lid on and then I put the pressure cook and I heated it up for two minutes and then I uh, vented it and uh, and it worked fine so the uh, initial startup uh, worked just fine and what I have right now is I'm cooking a chicken stew and for the chicken stew, basically I put in uh, chopped up one and a half pounds of chicken, pound, about a pound and a half of daikon, one pound of tofu. I put one thumb of ginger in, chopped it up, about a half a cup of teriyaki sauce, added two cups of water, and uh, also some chicken bouillon for flavoring. So for this Magic Chef, the first thing that I did was I put the uh, pot in, I sealed the top, and I plugged it in, and I adjusted the vent. So, I'll just turn this thing sideways. Okay, this box basically shows the setup. So it's got an internal pot, and I uh, chopped up my ingredients, and I put them into this inner pot. And then I uh, closed the lid and I uh, went through my sequence here. So uh, the next thing I did was I pressed uh, meat and stew and it had a high pressure setting on normal and I saw a 35 minute thing flash and it went on. And then after 15 minutes, the uh, vent started to chatter and uh, and then it's sealed after 25 minutes the pin was chattering and then it popped up so that was 25 minutes for it to pressure up and then after 30 uh, minutes it came up to pressure and then it started a 35 minute countdown uh, so 35 minutes to cook the meat and then at the 65 minute mark the uh, pressure cooker went off and I uh, basically stopped it and I unplugged it because I like to uh, let it cool naturally and it uh, continues cooking. So I'm basically at the last step here. Uh, this is the last step. This is uh, it can be dangerous with the steam inside so be very careful. You want to uh, use a towel when you're venting the steam and uh, we're going to turn the dial to venting until the pin drops and then you know it's safe to open up uh, and or you can do like what I did is I just uh, let the uh, pressure cooker cool naturally for one or two hours like I said let it continue cooking and uh, that way uh, I get everything nice and soft so I'm at the stage now where I'm going to uh, I'm going to release uh, whatever uh, pressure's left in there, then I'm going to open it up. I also uh, just wanted to cover what kind of accessories comes with the box, and what you get is all that you need is this uh, inner pot, and you can close it with the lid, and basically you can do pressure cooking that way. And what's really nice is it comes with a lid so that after everything's cooled down you can take the pot out of the unit cover it with a lid and then just put it into the fridge you know after it's cooled off 
So I thought that's pretty nice. And this lid has a glass cover. It's, uh, it's very nice. And then it also comes with this stainless steel steaming rack. And then it also comes with this uh, serving spoon and a rice serving uh, spatula. It's got this uh, rice measuring cup. It's got a spare gasket that goes on to the lid in case this lid wears out. You can, uh, it comes with a spare gasket. And then it's got these two little rubber gloves here. You can put those on when you're venting and that's for added safety. So I just wanted to show you those little accessories. Okay, next thing I wanted to do is to show you what this looks like when I plug it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug this unit in. And get that plugged in there. Okay, once you plug it in, this uh, unit, uh, the light comes on, the digital. So you can see all the various settings here. And all you have to do is, what I did was I just pressed meat and stew, and that's where it started up the uh, pressure cooker. And it flashed uh, 35 minutes here, and then it went on it. So basically, once you plug it in, and you press one of these settings, it will automatically go from there. That's it, so it's just a one press of the button. And so now, I've already uh, done uh, one hour of cooking plus almost two minutes of cool down naturally. I'm gonna come over here to the top of the unit and it's a little bit hard to see here, but this vent, this is on the venting, it's pointed towards me. And just down here it says, uh, this is sealing and uh, it's pointed this way. And if I push this lever over to this side, that's where it's venting. You can see that little icon of the steam. And then this little button, you can see it's in the up position right now. I'll just kind of come in from the side a little bit. And this is very important. When that's in the up position, this pressure cooker's got steam in it. So it uh, could be dangerous if you uh, open it up. So just be very careful. The only time you open up this pressure cooker is when this thing drops down. So in a second here, I'm going to show you how to cover it and uh, release some steam. Okay, I've got myself a kitchen tea towel and uh, I'm going to show you if you just um, tap on this valve and you press it to the right, I'm going to show you the steam coming off of it. Oh, actually the uh, pressure on this was already uh, released, so it's cooled off. You see that button drop? Now I'm uh, good to open it up. So this is how you open it up. You can see the unit's off. And I'll just turn it uh, counterclockwise. You can hear it chime down. And open up the back, open it away from you so that steam goes out the back. And just let the water drip in. And there I've got my chicken stew ready. I'm going to take a look at it, see how it turned out. Put this down. Okay, YouTube, here's the final product of the chicken stew. Uh, it looks like it's uh, got a lot of the broth, which is what I like. I like to have a lot of broth. And uh, you can see that I had cut the chicken chunks uh, into bite-sized pieces. You can see the same thing for the tofu and carrots. And then lastly, this is the uh, daikon. The daikon vegetable, it's a uh, Japanese radish. And I cut it up into uh, about half inch cubes. And I cook that all together. It's all nice and soft. You can see that the daikon is translucent. And that, that way you know that it's already finished um, cooking. And it was tender. So I gave it a taste test and uh, it was pretty good. So please like and subscribe. That's the Magic Chef Pressure Cooker. And uh, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.
Uh, YouTube, I just wanted to add a little more information here. I added a little bit extra teriyaki sauce to uh, give it a little more flavoring. So that's when I adjusted the flavor. This is still really hot and I just wanted to show you this is the uh, spoon accessory that comes in the package. So that's really nice and also you can see this um, steel pot inside. So this steel pot, it's removable. You can take it out of there. Uh, it's a little bit heavy for just with one hand, but you can, trust me, you can take that out of there. And um, you, can, there, you can put a lid on it. And so I actually have a, another big pot with the exact same size lid. And you can see it's a glass top. It has this vent hole, exact same uh, lid uh, that I had uh, on another pot. And um, like I said, this box, it does come with a glass lid right there that comes with the unit. So I just wanted to share that with you that once the stew, you know, you're done eating it and it cools off and you want to put it in the fridge, all you have to do is pull out the stainless steel pot, put on the lid, pop it into the fridge, and then uh, use it for later. So I thought that's uh, very handy. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, that's the chicken stew. Gonna eat that for a couple days. Bye for now. Hey YouTube, one last, last thing that I wanted to cover was this uh, venting pin. As you can see, there's no pressure on this right now. The pin is down. And you can see how loose this looks, and that's normal. I thought at first, gee, that looks kind of funny, but that's the way it is. And when it's starting to heat up, you, you can even pull it up like this, and the steam will come out. But anyways, in this position, when it's pointed this way, this is when it's um, this is when it's sealing. So that's when it's sealed. And then when the pin pops up and it cooks and you're done and you're ready to depressure, then as soon as you lift it like this, the steam will shoot up through this vent and also a little bit around the sides, but mostly through the top. And it goes up about six uh, feet straight up into the roof. So that's why I always use a tea towel. I cover this thing before I vent. And you can always just check it and like when you toggle it like this it lets go a little bit of steam out the top so i get that tea towel i cover it on top and then i you can turn it to the right and that's for venting and that'll keep it there and then uh it'll vent into the towel instead of uh and it'll the towel will keep the steam you know from hitting the roof and damaging maybe your ceiling if you keep doing that all the time, you're bound to damage the ceiling with that hot steam. So just wanted to give you that little extra hint. And hopefully um, the most important thing is to um, operate this in a safe fashion. Be very safe. This is a you know, high pressure steam cooker. It can be very dangerous. So please be safe. Talk to you later. Bye now.